Just trying to create a buzz in our program when you know we've been down for a little bit and, and trying to get that the, the life back into our program. So in that regard, it's been, it's been awesome. Trying to make sure that our young men understand that things that you put out there, they're out there for good. And, um, and people can really judge you on the things that you say and, and, and really put on social media. So we, we have to continue to, to teach and, and, and bring people in and, and figure out ways to kind of work with it. Social media is not going anywhere. It's only gonna go, it's only gonna become more and more of a, a a tool and an issue for, for us to deal with as coaches. I tell our guys, you know, the, the, uh, an area where you can get in trouble is I think with that social media yep. stuff. I think you got to really understand it. And ha But I don't want any of our business as a basketball team and as a basketball program really being shared with anybody in the public. I'd like to keep it like, you know, within our four walls yep. and within our locker room. I think education is a big piece of it. And uh, for the most part, I think guys do a pretty good job of, of knowing what to put on there and not to put on there. But, uh, uh, you know, as far as coaches and, and how it helps us, you know, it just, I think, uh, keeps us current. I think it's important in recruiting. And I think a lot of it comes down to education. Uh, we try to have a very simple with our team is, you know, I, I ask them, who, you know, who are the most important people in our lives, who's their mentor, you know, uh, and don't put anything out there that you wouldn't want them to see or, or, your, or your mother for that matter. Right. If it's okay for your mother to see, then you know, then, then, then feel free to fire away. But again, building on trying to keep some things, injuries, different things in-house. But I think what we try to do is because every situation presents itself different. And I think there's so many incredible teachable moments out there with mistakes that other people have made or other players have made. And we, every time I see one, I try to bring it to our guys' attention is this is an example of what we don't want. I know it's a part of what they do and I understand that. I want them to represent the program the right way and represent their families the right way. So hopefully they're using it the right way, but try not to get in the middle of every tweet and everything that they're trying to do in their life. I think it's hard for, for us to tell them, hey, you can't do that because it's such a part of the culture. Uh, and I think it's important that we do educate them to how it can be good and how it can be bad. And some guys actually, I think, can use it real positively, you know, to promote a lot of the good things that they're doing. So uh, I think a big part of it is, is educating them and then without getting overly involved in, in some of their personal life, I agree. We're all representing each other because we're part of the same team. And if you put out a, a comment that just doesn't reflect well on you, your family, or your university, it does us no good. And I, you know, we just address it with that, and I think we move forward. It's a great promotional tool, obviously, for businesses, programs. Right. Um, I think it's uh, one of the major topics uh, almost every coach was talking about during the summer recruiting. <laughs> you know, sitting down and really uh, nobody has an exact handle about how to deal with it, what policy to put in, because uh, there are some uh, freedom elements to it. There are some things where um, uh, this is how uh, that generation really communicates with each other in a number of different ways. And uh, I think that's something that's continually evolving. I think the education and talking to um, you know, student athletes right now is a key element, understanding that, you know, there are times now where people, uh, you know, you can go on any TV station and, and they are posting a social media tweet of the day or this or that. That's probably even getting old now. So there are all these new different types of ways that are constantly evolving. I think it's important to stay on top of it, but uh, really just continue to educate. It's a great way to promote you know, our programs and right. our universities and also our, our conference. Uh, you know, I just think it's the simple things like the language that's used yeah, and just yeah. educating uh, right. your kids and, it's, and, and it's, a, it's a constant thing. It's a constant thing. But I think for the promotional stuff and the marketing stuff, it's, uh, it's tremendous. It's just a matter of are we using it the right way. Right.